Hello and welcome to another technical takedown the hard way. In today's video, I want to briefly expand upon something I spoke about in my last video in regards to the DJI Mini Pro 3. Okay, well, actually a little less about the technical aspects of the drone itself and about how I researched this topic. Now, I do the vast majority of my research on YouTube, okay, because there are a lot of good YouTubers out there who make the information um, available a little bit early, which is really nice, and you are able to get a good feeling of what type of product they are trying to sell you because they do really good reviews about these products. Now, of course, there are many YouTubers out there if you type into uh, YouTube and you type in DJI Mini Pro 3 review and you, you, you get to see the larger YouTube content creators in the uh, tech genre, uh, they, they sort of float to the top. And so you'll see YouTubers like Jason Dovey and Peter McKinnon and Potato Jet. These guys will basically come out and uh, they will all get a, um, a DJI drone sent to them early so they can do their reviews about these particular uh, drones or products, period. It, it, they don't just, it doesn't just happen with drones. It happens with all these tech products. So um, it, it works out for these um it works out for these content creators because they get to make content um, and show people in real time just how good or how bad these products are. And it also works out for DJI because DJI is getting free advertising towards people who are, you know, who have a particular interest in their product in the first place, right? You, you wouldn't watch a video about a particular product unless you had an interest in it, which is really good. It works out for everybody. Um, but we have a problem, and I could feel this problem when I was doing research about this particular drone, the DJI Mini 3 Pro. And the problem was that when I was watching these videos, and I, I watched the reviews from each of these um, YouTube content creators, and I Justine and Flight Path, and I, I, I watched I watched a lot of videos from all these guys, and I realized that there was a piece of information, a quite critical piece of information, that was being missed out by all of these YouTubers. Not just some of them, but all of them. And the fact is, is that these guys didn't speak about it. Now, I briefly touched on this yesterday. I spoke about um, a YouTube content creator who had this to say about one of the key aspects, the performance characteristic of the DJI drone. Hey folks, today I've got a high speed wind test with the new DJI Mini 3 Pro. It is absolutely how like house itself. It's kind of moved us a bit off there, but it's still holding on. I am getting a bit of a weak uh, antenna signal there, which I'm somewhat surprised at. I'm only 700 meters away and this is rated quite a bit further than that, uh, but you know, it's all right. Maximum distance that you can actually use the drone. Okay, so I took a look at this and I was like, wait, wait a minute. This guy really didn't go into this. This is quite important. So what happened is his drone started saying that this was, that, that, that they were getting a weak signal. Now he was testing the drone in bad weather. Okay, but it was only 700 meters away, which is really not good. It is not good at all. So I'm thinking to myself, 700 meters, okay. Well, even if you triple that, you're not even talking, it's two and a half kilometers. Now, for compa as a comparison, the DJI Mavic 3 with the upgraded controller will do 
15 kilometers. Okay, it'll have a maximum um, uh, distance uh, of 15 kilometers that you'll be able to use it. That's wild. Okay, it's it's good anyway. But let's but let's say you have a normal drone. The drone, you know, 10 kilometers. That, let's say between eight and 10 kilometers. I mean, that's pretty good too. But these guys, none of them spoke about this aspect of the drone. The, all these other YouTubers, they stayed well clear of it. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, well, why are these guys speaking about it? And it's now become apparent that no one is speaking about it because DJI specifically told them not to speak about it. Now, we don't know the reason why DJI has told them not to speak about the DJI Mini 3 Pro's um, ability to um, its maximum um, surfaceable distance. We don't know why they speak, they, they have, they've been told not to speak about it. Clearly, they've been told not to mention it. Because they didn't even mention it. They didn't even say, oh, DJI has told us not to speak about this because uh, this is a new drone and they're still working with a few software uh, glitches or there needs to be an update. Uh, you know, they haven't told us anything about that. Which tells us, which tells you what? It tells you that you need to be careful about where you find your information from. It tells you that you need to find your information from people who do not have that do not have a vested interest in keeping in the good books of DJI or other manufacturers you won't be able to get a sincere honest truthful um, uh, review about a particular product from a channel that has lost its integrity because the information it's given you is corrupted by uh, a manufacturer telling this particular content creator what to say and what not to say as soon as a content creator says okay i'm not going to say this about your product it it avoids that content creator's information because you don't know about what other things that person hasn't said about other products so it's incredibly important for you to find independent reviewers. Reviewers who have said, okay then, well, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to wait until it comes out, until this particular drone is ready for release, and I will buy it myself. I will review it myself, okay? I don't want to be in DJI's good books because as soon as you're in their good books, it, you know, they will start telling you what to do, what to say, and it lowers the integrity of your channel and the information that you are saying on it. So, the, I mean, it doesn't just, we're not just talking about drones here, we're talking about everything. So, I don't know about you guys, but in regards to overlanding, I watch one particular channel um that i that i really like um and his name is andrew saint pierre white i think it's four by overland i'm not a big fan of his i need to be honest with you he kind of reminds me of my old school teacher from back in the 1970s and 80s you know that that's that's the way he speaks it gives me those types of vibes you're right but um one thing that he is really good at is giving honest, truthful reviews about all products. And there are many manufacturers out there that won't work with him because when, if you send a product to him, he will give an honest opinion on it, whether you like it or not, whether you are planning to send a product to him later or not, he doesn't care. He does not care. He will give you an honest opinion on it and that's it. This is the reason why I watch him because he, he, the information that he gives has a lot of integrity in it. You can trust it. It's honest. It's truthful. Okay. You can really rely on it because he does, he's not in the back pocket of the manufacturers. 
uh, he he can be quite blunt and to the point sometimes, and I can understand that some manufacturers don't like that, but we like that. We like somebody who's on our side. Customers, uh, clients, potential clients like people like Andrew St. Pierre White. We like people who are impartial, you know? We like people who who will say what needs to be said regardless of what the manufacturer thinks okay uh, and i think what the researching this drone has done for me uh it's now giving me the ability to shape my own channel and say this is what i want i want to be an andrew st pierre white if I do get sent a product, I will tell the manufacturers, I'm going to say whatever I like. And it's, you know, and if I don't like it, you may not like me, you may not send it to me, you may not send me a product in the future. Tell them straight as it is. And, you know, it, you're going to have a core uh, group of people who will follow you, who will believe in you because you are honest uh, and no one will come back at you and shout at you. You know, no one, no one's going to come back to you and be angry with you because you are um, you didn't tell them the truth, or because you know you you skipped around a few vital pieces of information, like what these YouTubers have done. So, guys, what can I say? All I can say is that you have to be very careful about where you find your information from. Don't jump the gun. There are many people out there who have already made their decision about making about buying a, a new drone when they shouldn't. Because the information that's being given to you now is being given to you by a group of people who have been corrupted by those manufacturers. So don't make the decision yet. Wait for people who actually have bought the drone, who are independent, who are impartial. Uh, wait for their reviews. And after you find their reviews, then make a decision, okay? Uh, and I, it's not nice for me to say these things. I, 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 I understand that. But once again, I think it's important for uh, these YouTubers to get a bit of more integrity, be, get, grow some balls, for heaven's sakes, and say what you need to say, you know? It's it's don't let these big Chinese companies don't let these big companies tell you where to go and what to do. You know, if you've already grown to a certain stature, be honest, be open, say whatever you need to say. And if the manufacturers turn around and say, well, you know, we don't want you, we don't want to send you anything anymore. Make a YouTube video and, and make videos about that. Perfect. We know who we can speak to. We know who can, you know, that we can trust you then. That's important, guys. Okay, rant over. Okay, I, I, I just wanted to say that. I'd like to say thank you for listening. And like I said before, be careful out there. Take care.